Hi everyone, I'm Sophia, your fitness ambassador for the Take 12 Challenge. Hopefully you're all getting on okay with your progress so far. Um, again, as mentioned over the last few weeks, I'm here to help you with any fitness progress. So what we're going to be looking at today is some standing core work. Now our core muscles, it doesn't just consist of our, of our abdomen, okay, although our abdomen are a big part of our core, okay, as well as our abs, we've also got our obliques, the muscles here at the side in our waist, our back, um, but also our hip flexors and the glutes in our bottom that are quite often neglected. Um, so what we're going to be doing here today, just standing, of course you can do this seated as well or even lying down if you wanted to. Um, of course if you can please feel free to get up on your feet for these. We're going to be focusing on our abdomen, hip flexors and the obliques and in a few weeks time again I'll be showing you some floor exercises that you can do to target a little bit more at the back and in your bottom. So. First things first, we're just going to do a really quick warm up. Again, please feel free to refer to um, some of the earlier videos for some cardio ideas um, or a quick stretch through. I'm just going to go through something very, very basic with you here now. So we're going to do 30 seconds of marching. So when you're ready, just nice and light through the feet. Now with any type of exercise, so important to warm up. Make sure that we're raising our heart rate nice and gently and depending on how intensely we're working, it's essential to give ourselves a quick little stretch off um, just to loosen any muscles before any hard work. Okay, right, so nice and light through the feet. We're gonna stay here for 10 seconds. Good, just swinging through the arms. Okay, right, and the next thing that I'd like you to do is reach through your midsection. We're going to reach through reach through. So what I'm doing here is very gently rotating through the waist, rotating through my midsection. So if you can see my feet, I'm pivoting through the feet. We've got to be very careful not to twist through our knees here. So nice and light, nice and relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one, and back to the march. Good, nice and relaxed, nice and light again here. If you want to, you can start to bring the knees a little bit higher, swing the arms a little bit more, but all the way through, be aware of your posture, be aware of your form. Okay, so in a moment, we're gonna go back to our waist rotation, gently coming through the middle in four, three, two, and rotate. Just working left to right, again, pivoting through the feet, extend and center. Nice and relaxed. Make sure you're moving your whole body with you. Move your head and shoulders. Okay, stay here for me now for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Of course, you can continue to repeat that if you would like. Next move from with me. We're gently gonna take our arms up above our head. Now again, from previous videos, some of you will know already, Anything that takes the arm up over your head is going to get your heart rate a little bit higher. Well done. I'm going to keep going here for another 12 seconds. Good. Excellent. And five, four, three, two, one. And hold it here. Brilliant. Okay, next move. We're just going to take our arms up above our head. We're gently going to lengthen down to one side. We're going to lengthen four, three, two, one, and pull back down. Four, three, two, one, and pull back. So I'm keeping weight in both of my heels. I'm gently stretching through my obliques. Excellent. So we're going to repeat through this four more times, two more on each side. Of course, you can go to your own timings. And if you're seated, just make sure you're keeping both bottom cheeks on the seat here. Last one, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so just a quick little example of a warm up for you. Now we're going to get onto some core moves. Okay, before you do anything, feel free to grab some water if you'd like. We will have a little rest breaks and everything where we need. Okay, of course, you can pause at any time, have a break and have a drink whenever you feel you need one. If you'd like to have some music as well, I always say this, but for me personally, it's quite good to have a beat or something to work with. So if you need a chair, grab a chair. 
water and music if you need. Okay, so what's going to happen? We're going to be working both sides. We're going to do 30 seconds on one side, then 30 seconds on the other. After which, I'll give you a quick rest break, okay, and then we'll move on to the next move. Four moves in total. So, the first move we're going to be doing is a knee lift. One foot forwards, one foot back. So similar to what we've done before, however, you're going to have your weight in front leg and just your toe on the ground. Arms up, we're going to draw the knee in towards our chest. So what we've got to avoid is putting our heel down. So you're just staying on the toe. Of course, if you're seated, just bring the knee as high towards your chest as you can. Move number two. From here, we're going to do a little side knee. Okay, so we're gonna bring the knee towards our elbow. So this might challenge your balance slightly here. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Move number three, a little oblique side crunch. Now, if you want to, feel free to use any hand weights, or even a bag of sugar, tin of beans, anything you'd like. Down to one side, slowly lean and pull back. Slowly lean and pull back. Finally, move number four. Another word for this is the Frankenstein. Okay, we're gonna have arms extended and all we're going to do is bring one leg straight up towards us in the center. If I show you from the side, straight up, straight up. So, let's get ready. Move number one, okay, move number one. We're gonna go for the knee lift. So, place one foot forwards, one foot back, arms up. Get ready for 30 seconds of work here. Three, two, one, and here we go. Knee in and back. So we're gonna be working on one side for 30 seconds, after which we'll switch straight away. We'll go straight onto the other side. So with this one here, think about putting your belly button in towards your spine and driving your knee as high towards your chest as you can. We've got eight more seconds on this leg. And four, three, two, one. Over to the other side. Here we go, knee in. Two, three. Now, of course, you work at your own pace. You work at your own level. Now, hopefully you'll feel that your heart rate starts to come up. If you want to modify this move, feel free just to keep the arms nice and low and just tap your knee to your hands. If you want the heart rate higher, okay, which of course is gonna get you better results, more calorie burn, then please take the hands up. Five seconds, four, three, two, four, and march it off. So we're gonna have a quick recovery here. We're still keeping the feet moving to make sure that our heart rate does not decrease, okay? So we we'll to keep our heart rate elevated. However, this just gives us a chance to catch our breath back. In a moment, we're gonna get ready for move number two, the side crunch. So pick which side you're going to start with. Right, we're gonna get ready in 10 seconds. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So if you'd like to start coming down into your stance, hands on your head, and here we go. Knee to elbow. So if you want to work a little bit harder, you can also lower the upper body down towards your knee. As always, it's up to you how high you bring this. Well done, it might challenge your balance slightly, so if you need, use a still focus point straight ahead of you. You might also feel this in your hips, so again, only take it as high as you like. Three seconds, two, one, and well done, other side, here we go. Knee in and back. You might also feel your base leg working, using all of our stabilizing muscles in our legs to help keep us steady. Okay, we're almost here. 10 more seconds. And eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, and march it off. Good, well done. So again, catch your breath back. Please help yourself to some water if you need it here. Nice and relaxed, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. 
in a moment we're going to be getting ready for move number three so if you want to if you want to use a small weight please feel free to do so here i'm going to use one as an example to show you so we're going to be getting ourselves ready to go in five seconds and three two side crunch to one side down and up down and up 30 seconds again here now so as you can see i'm not actually moving that far with this move here it's a small range of motion again focusing on targeting the obliques weight in both feet here you want to be very careful not to twist to drop the shoulder or to drop the knee so make sure you squeeze your bottom keep it tight two one over to the other side here we go 30 seconds down and up down and up so if you're doing this one properly you should feel it on the opposite side to the hand that's relaxing down if you want to as well you can relax down slow and pull back slow and pull back to really make you aware of that contraction five seconds here three two one and well done back to the march so if you've got a weight feel free to pop it down here right the last move of this section then we'll have a rest i'll give you all a good break frankensteins okay nearly there even when you're marching be aware of your posture the more you can start to draw your belly button in okay the more effective you're going to be during your workouts so three seconds feet steady bringing one foot up here we go up and back up and back now this isn't about how high you can get your leg up if i show you from the side i'd rather be low at halfway rather than trying to come up too high and compromise your form okay so chest up shoulders drawn back lifting through a straight leg here okay four three two one and other side when you're ready here we go up and relax now me personally i know i've got one leg that's stronger than the other so you might find that one leg is more balanced again continue to keep your chest up you might also find you might also find again sorry that you lose your balance so try and squeeze your bottom where you can hold it nice and steady think about that posture three two last one Woo, and well done so here i can start to feel this working in my hip flexors as well so march it off and i'll give you a little break before and i'm sure some of you have guessed already we are going to repeat that whole thing through again Catch your breath, ease your feet off slightly if you need. Okay, and feel free to take a water break. So I'm gonna have a quick drink. I advise you do the same, stay hydrated. Okay, brilliant. Now, the reason why our hip flexors are an important part of our core, hip flexors and our glutes, okay, they obviously control our hips. Now our hips are an important part of our centre of gravity. So for things like balance, if we've got stronger muscles here in the front and at the back, we've got more control, the more core strength we have, the better our posture is, the better our balance, um, stability, all of those kind of things. So I'm not gonna waffle on too much, I'm gonna try and keep you all moving. So if you'd like to start getting yourselves ready, we're gonna go back to the knee lift, pick one leg and we're gonna draw the knee up to the chest six seconds so bring one foot in front arms up three two one here we go knee in and back of course if you feel that you need a little bit longer a little bit more recovery then feel free to pause the video however just be aware not to let your heart rate drop too much okay we've got to make sure that we stay warm good so second time around here let's see if we can get the knee a little bit higher belly button into your spine here three two one and other side switching to the other foot hands in and here we go knee in and back 
Well done everybody, keep pushing. Remember, sometimes it will feel a little bit uncomfortable. Heart rate might come up, you might be out of breath, you might be hot and sweaty. Um, even if you're red in the face, okay, all of those things are a good sign that you're working nice and hard. So well done. Continue to listen to your body all the way through. Five seconds here. Three, two, one, and well done. March it off, 30 seconds here. Oh, catch your breath back. Ease it off and relax your neck, relax your shoulders. So the next move coming up here in a moment, it's gonna be our knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Okay, start bringing the feet wide, five seconds, four, three, two, knee to elbow, here we go. So try and keep your chest open here common coaching point for this one is just making sure that we don't we don't hunch in the center so I don't want you to hunch or crunch I actually want you to keep your body long good think about keeping the chest open elbows and shoulders back for three two one oh and over to the other side let's go well hopefully you can see me there sorry Knee to elbow. The range of motion, how far you go, you are in control of that. You're also in control of your pace as well here. Good, stay with it. You've got five seconds on this side. Chest open. Two, one, and well done, well done. So you might start to feel it a little bit in your hip abductors here, the muscles on the side as well. March it off, catch your breath back. Okay, we're gonna go for our little oblique side crunch here now. So if you've got a small weight, okay, that you're using, or even household objects, feel free to get that ready. In five seconds, five, four, three, and here we go, relaxing down to one side and pulling back to the center. So if you remember from last time you're saying this, hip steady. I always squeeze my bottom here, helps me to keep everything in place. 15 seconds left. Control, contract, control, contract. So slow and fast. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, over to the other side. Here we go. Small range of motion. If you're coming all the way down to your knee, just be aware if you're, if you're twisting in the centre. If you keep working, I'll just show you. We've got to avoid twisting and dropping the shoulder. So make sure the shoulder stays back. We're just focusing on working the side here. Five more seconds. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. And well done. Pop your weight down if you like. Back to the march. Okay, everybody, we've got one more move to go. And then I'll give you a quick little stretch off. A couple of moves to stretch. Excellent. 15 seconds. We're going to get ready for our Frankensteins here now. Arms extended. Five seconds. Get your feet steady if you want to here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Put up and relax. Of course, you work at your own pace here. If you want to, feel free to make use of your arms and your shoulders as well here. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the modifications, so keeping it nice and low. Good, well done, stay with it here. Again, you might feel it in your hips, you might feel it in that base leg. Five, four, three, and over to the other side when you're ready. Straight through if you can here now. Just gonna move over slightly to make sure you can see me still. Excellent. 10 seconds down already. Good, keep going here now, keep going. Well done everybody, you're not far away here now, not far away. Eight, seven, six, five, chest up, keep a nice straight back all the way. Three, two, 
Ooh, and well done. Walk it off, march it through. Brilliant, fantastic. Nice and light, nice and relaxed. Okay, so we're just gonna bring it down here now. Slow everything down. Okay, let's go for eight more seconds. Eight, seven, six, slow it down. Four, three, two, Oh, brilliant. So hopefully you managed to get your heart rate up. And if you're doing it properly, hopefully you can start to feel the, the, this group of muscles in the center and your hips as well starting to work. So well done.